I want to go there right? cuz I want to go there though because I was I've been there in my life. Like how real was that for you? Like where you know you having these thoughts, you got to be in like a very dark place, you know, when you start having those thoughts that life's not good enough anymore, right? Like what age is this and how did you overcome that cuz being in that phase is is really hard to pull yourself out of. Yeah. Great question. I think as a 16, 17 year old kid, the thoughts were prominent. Like, I don't like my life. I don't want to live in this body anymore. And I didn't take any action on it. I would, I would cry in the shower. So no one knew I was crying, right? Nick, why are your eyes red? I got soap in my eyes, right? Like there was always an excuse. Yeah. Or I would lock myself in my room, play video games and totally numb out, right? So I had, I had to numb it out. Um, to fast forward a little bit, we, we can jump wherever you want, but there was a moment where I got the closest and it was my 21st birthday, celebrated in Miami and everybody that I was with brought back a girl and who did it? Mm. Me. Mm. And evidence, I'm stacking evidence, Yeah. right? And I'm like, all of it, all the sudden negative self-talk, like, of course you didn't, like, they don't like you, like, you'll, you'll never have that, right? And it was a Miami high rise, and I went out on the balcony, and I closed the balcony, and I was like, just sitting there, and I'm like, is this, you really wanna keep living like this, or like, do you wanna end it? Like, I'm, I'm you know, I'm having a conversation in my head, and, yeah. I pushed the, I scooted the chair over to the balcony and I got on top of the chair and I'm like looking over the balcony and I'm like, whatever you want, bro. Like if, if this is what you want, you want it. And I don't even till this day, I don't know what stopped me from doing it. I think the thoughts start to think about like, yo, my family is going to be wrecked. Right? Like Nick, you like, come on. Like I started getting grounded, right? Like Nick, your family's going to be wrecked. Um, it's not that like I'm now I got devil and angel right on both shoulders and they're like they're like it's bad do it it's like no and then you're, you're it's all focus right and I I think I cried myself to sleep on the bat and I and I slept out there that night and did you ever tell did you tell anybody like your boys the next morning right did you like, did no. they even know they didn't even know where you were at at that point in your life no I didn't I didn't tell anyone. I think also because we're programmed, like if you talk about that, you're weak, yeah. right? That whole man, be a man thing, right? Stigma, it's like the yeah. bad programming. <laughs>